What's going on guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Today I'm with my friend Austin and we have a 2009 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 dashboard and we're going to do... I guess we're already doing that. Okay. What's going on guys? My name is Voss and if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm with my friend Austin and today we've got a 2009 Lamborghini Gallardo LP560 dashboard and we're gonna make this paint look better than factory? Absolutely better than factory. You can already see some factory-induced micro-marring throughout the paint. So um, th this is a 10-year-old car, right? Yeah. So, you know, if you had to, if you had to guess where, how would, you, how would you rate where it is, like, paint-wise? In terms of an average 10-year-old car, it's absolutely fantastic. For an exotic 10-year-old, and how many miles did you say it has? Just rolled over 9,000. I'd give it like a, a six or a seven. It's it's not terrible, but there is spots where there's some some isolated swirls, but overall it's not too bad. And we're gonna make it better than ten today, right? Absolutely, as well as the paint protection film and ceramic yeah. coating to protect it. So we're gonna this might end up being two videos. No, it probably will because it'll be too long otherwise. But part one, we're gonna do um, you know, the wash. We're gonna do the paint uh, correction. So. Uh, you're better at this, but it's a one. We're doing a one-step correction, correct? We what we'll basically be doing is doing a one-step polish, and then if necessary, we'll come back to hit some areas. So I always like to go back around with the light and check different spots. Like this spot that I'm seeing right here may may end up needing a second okay. stage or a little more work, but one step is how we describe it. So we'll be doing that, and then that'll probably take most of today. We'll be back tomorrow to do the paint protection film. So I'm gonna make another video you're gonna see on how to apply PPF and then top it off with a ceramic coat. Yep. So let's do it. So I'm gonna go handheld for a while, but actually we're gonna walk around the car and Austin's gonna show us kind of some of the imperfections. What he knows is he does this for a living pretty much. So he, he knows a lot more about this than I do. So I'm gonna let him introduce himself a little more, his business, and then walk around the car and explain to us everything that the, uh, that the Gallardo needs. Yep. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Austin Wagenshine. I'm the owner and operator of Deluxe Detailing of Central Ohio LLC. Uh, we do maintenance washes, paint protection films, ceramic coatings, paint corrections, basically everything to protect your car and keep it looking the way it needs to. Um, so this car, under first glance, before these new lights were put in their garage here, it didn't look too bad and now I'm noticing some swirls. It's definitely going to need paint correction. But that's what most people don't understand is most cars need paint correction from the factory. Sometimes exotics need it more than normal cars because the more hand built they are, the more factory imperfections they may have. But as usual, most of the swirls end up coming from improper wash techniques. Like there's a spot right here that's got significantly more swirls than the rest of the vehicle. But you'll see some minor swirling throughout the whole vehicle. One step should be more than fine for most of the car and then maybe come back and retouch sections like that. Not really seeing many rock chips on the front, which is fantastic with 9,000 miles, but that's what we're putting the paint protection film on for. Um, we already felt the paint. We already felt the paint. It feels pretty smooth, but as usual, so we're going to go through the whole wash. After the wash, we're going to rinse the vehicle, apply Iron X to remove any iron contamination as well as other fallout. Then you'll do a full mechanical decontamination stage. Uh, just to make sure the paint is surgically clean, we'll call it. Full high impact area PPF, custom rear bumper, and then ceramic coating the entire vehicle using Jax Wax Shield Pro 9H. It's roughly a four year coating, super hydrophobic, self cleaning. The wheels will be getting G Technic Crystal Serum Light as well as G Technic XO V4. So, you know, this is a roughly a two and a half, three day project, right? Yeah. How many hours? gets thrown into this just so people i don't think people understand yeah. how much time uh paint correction ppf ceramic all these things take so the prep work those first stages of decontamination including the wheels are actually pretty quick that's probably just a couple hours maybe um to correctly do it um paint correction is where a lot of your time is at whether you're doing paint protection film or ceramic coating or in this case both um on a car like this that's minimally swirled, uh, probably six to eight hours worth, 
um, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. Um, it's, it's all in the prep work. The PPF does take some time. Uh, the hood may take 30 minutes to get all lined up and situated and then five, 10 minutes to tack it down and make sure it's all good, roll any edges that you see, heat seal any edges that have any issues. Um, but ceramic coat, the ceramic coating itself doesn't take long. It's all the prep work to come into it. You can ceramic coat a whole vehicle in three, four hours max um, if you have two people with you or yourself and one other. But I'm guessing there's going to be roughly 30 out, 30, 30, 35 man hours in this in this entire job. Maybe a little more, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So now we're going to um, get it outside, get it washed because first step before you even do a paint correction is you need to wash the vehicle. Get rid of this. There's a lot of dirt on this. So I'm going to quit talking. So enjoy the cinematic. a deal right ride with me if you ride with me you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five stick you can get high with me that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right that's a bet right that's a deal right that's a deal right all right guys um well we well he he just hosed it down all the wheels are clean the top's clean Break down quickly what you just did. So we did a strip wash to remove any leftover waxes and sealants that may have been on the vehicle. It was a little water beating before, so I'm guessing there might have been a quick detailer sitting around from maybe a month ago, which is too long for a quick detailer, but it sits in the garage and doesn't get driven. So it was just a tiny bit of it left. So did the strip wash, remove that. That after the wheels, of course, we used. W6 by G Technic as an iron and fallout remover because this car doesn't have carbon ceramic brakes as well as brake buster on the tires. Um, wash the car, rinse it back off, and then we use W6 G Technic again to decontaminate the paint. That's the chemical decontamination, remove any ferrous metal particles. Um, those on white cars, you'll see those little orange red specks that's your iron contamination. The issue is we didn't have a single bit of purple on this car with 9,000 miles we're pretty happy with that gonna take it inside dry it off and uh, take care of the mechanical decontamination with the clay bar and then move on to paint correction all right so now we're back inside um, and cars looking pretty good next step is to dry it off and he's gonna go through this is not as simple as just grabbing some you know some towels co cotton the, bath you know. towels is that, is that not how this works uh no no uh, is that bad yeah. if you do that <laughs> yeah uh cotton's <laughs> quite abrasive you will leave some serious swirls on your car so. um so there's a couple of different routes and everybody kind of has their own personal thing we've got several different types of drying towels something like a twisted loop yes these are all clean a little disorganized they're not folded but they were just washed so this is just a very plush towel, I believe 550 GSM, which means grams per square meter is how heavy the towel is. This is a little lighter at 450, this is a twisted loop. This holds more water, but this can kind of be streaky on a car that's not ceramic coated, waxed, or sealed. So after doing a prep wash like this, we always like to go with the plush drying towel, just because we think it leaves less streaks, that's just kind of the... The way we do it, and obviously everything is all microfiber, we're not going any other direction but microfiber. Now when you run that, right, you're not, no, you're running it down. Yeah, so, line, so we kind of, I mean, I've had people while we're doing details ask, well, what kind of bath towel is that? Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's quite a large towel, I believe it's 25 by 36. But generally the way you do it, you come to a corner and you just bring it across. Yep. These aren't things you go by at Walmart. No, um, this is, as much as some detailers might hate on it, this is a chemical guy's woolly mammoth. Um, I mean, any super plush towel will work. And you can't tell on screen, but I'm using basically no pressure, just enough to keep the towel on the surface of the car. That's basically the, the key to all of this is as little pressure as possible. I 
I just kind of like to pull most of the water off at first and then come back, blow out seams and do all that. Do you wring towels out or you reuse a new one? Generally, I'll use a new one, okay. but for the most part, most vehicles won't have that much water on them to where you'd need to wring it out. Mm -hmm. um, but if you do, you can wring it out. It depends on how well you washed it. If you got all the contaminants off, you won't really have an issue with scratching or swirling as long as your towel stays clean. You rinse it correctly. If you had to recommend a towel, if you're going to go clean your car, right, and you went to the store, like AutoZone or one of those, what would you recommend someone get if they don't know much about detailing and stuff? Um, to recommend a towel, I mean, Chemical Guys is probably one of the most widely available. Yeah. And my the issue with Chemical Guys is they have way too many products, and it yeah. confuses a lot of people who might be new, but some of their products are actually fantastic. Uh, we use several of them in our business. But you just kind of got to sift through all the junk to get to the really good stuff. Like this woolly mammoth towel is fantastic. But back to the question, uh, just a drying towel, I would probably go with a woolly mammoth or uh, a waffle weave drying towel, which you can get on Amazon, AutoZone, basically mm -hmm. anywhere. I would just avoid like the really, really cheap microfibers Yeah. for the reasoning that they're cheap and they'll hold lint really badly. And yep. if you have lint, lint's obviously cotton. It'll pick it up from your washer, your dryer. Uh, you never want to wash your microfiber towels with cotton or towels or anything else because it'll pick that up and then you might as well be drying the car with a cotton towel. That's that. Well, there you have it. So that explains the drying process and kind of what you need to take. So once he gets that done, the next step's going to be, um, are you clay barring this? Yep. So clay bar, and then uh, the full one-step correction, and then we'll go from there. Hey, coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dog.